Dungeons in PAL World are located all over the Palpagos Islands, but they won't always be accessible. There are a few things regarding dungeons that the game doesn't tell you. Here's a guide for how dungeons work, including some tips for how to clear them quickly. There are two distinct types of dungeons, boss dungeons and cave dungeons. Both of these dungeons have timers that you can view at the dungeon entrance, which also tells you the level of the boss inside. Boss dungeons are somewhat unique and easy to place thanks to their glowing entrance marker. These are highlighted on the map with a boss pal logo, name and level, and they hold nothing except the boss encounter. The timer on the front indicates how long it will be until the interior of the dungeon is reset. Taking out boss pals is a great way to earn ancient civilization parts, so come back to these dungeons when their time is reset to fight the boss again for more resources. Cave dungeons are often located on the side of a huge rock formation. They look like a giant black void, which serves as the entrance of the dungeon. Cave dungeons are different to boss dungeons in that they use a cave system room set to create large cave dungeons, which are sprawling and filled with many pals, enemies, and resources. These dungeons also have boss fights at the end of them, but you're going to need to do some exploring to find them. Caves are a great place to go to if you need more mineable resources, like paldium fragments, ore, sulfur, or coal. You can find all of these resources above ground, of course, but paldium is in much smaller quantities outside, and sulfur and coal are mostly found in more difficult regions on the map, so it's great to have a reliable way to find these resources early. Aside from these natural resources, you'll also find entirely different sets of pals wandering these dungeons that you might not normally see in the region where the cave is placed. Caves are also a great way to find pals that only come out at night, such as Daydream, for example. If you're looking for new pals to help out at your base, or you're looking to complete your pal deck, make sure to do some spelunking. While you're exploring these dungeons, you're likely to come across a number of dead ends. These rooms usually hold some natural resource deposits and maybe even a chest. As you trace your way back to where you were to find a new path, Try to keep track of which paths you have and have not been down so that you don't end up exploring places that you have already been. This is especially easy to do because most rooms that you cleared of human enemies and pals will be refilled after you leave that room and come back, even if it's only been a minute. So don't rely on rooms being empty as a sign of whether you have already explored them or not. You can speed up cave exploration the same way that you can speed up overworld exploration, by using a mountable pal to move faster. The only consideration you need to make is that the doorways between cave rooms are quite small, and getting off and on your pal over and over again will eliminate any speed gain you might enjoy if your pal is too large to fit through the gap. This means that most, if not all flying pals, should be avoided, but a sleek and fast grounded pal can really help you speed things up, like this Univolt for example. If you enter a large room with a gigantic tree at its center, then that means you've found the boss. The types of pals that you'll find here seem to be randomly selected from a pool of more ordinary pals from the region where the cave is located, so coming here is a great way to catch alpha boss versions of ordinary pals. Once you defeat the boss pal, you can proceed behind the tree to the final room where two chests will be waiting for you, containing rewards not usually found out in the open world. These chest rewards are not shared between multiple players in co-op, so divvy up the rewards amongst yourselves if you're working as a team. The glowing crystal in the center is a warp point that will take you back outside in front of the cave entrance. It seems that the dungeon layouts are all set ahead of time from a selection of predetermined layouts, so if you're dungeoning in order to encounter boss pals quickly, keep an eye out for this particular cave layout to go straight to the boss room. If your first branching path is a two-way split, with a torch-lit path on the left and a waterlogged path on the right, always take the right path. This should funnel you through a few more rooms, then this room full of archways and bridges, before bringing you to the boss room. On a fast pal, and ignoring other distractions, you could be there in less than a minute. You may return to the site of a dungeon to find that the cave entrance has been closed off. This happens when the expiration timer reaches zero. 
The cave will then be closed off for some time until it comes back with a refreshed expiration timer. It's a good idea to mark dungeons on your map so that you can rotate between nearby options if you find one that has expired. You can also find our Palpagos Islands map in our wiki guide to see where all the dungeons that we've found so far are located. For more on Palworld, check out our videos on how to level up fast and how to find rare resources. And for all other things gaming, stick with IGN.